I know the other girls are 18 and 17, but um, I'm mature in other places. Uh, mentally. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome to Laos. Dating in Laos is a subject not often spoken about, but after researching and living in Laos, I can understand why. Today, we will be diving into the subject of dating a Lao girl, and I will be telling you exactly what you need to know. You may have come across the famous law in Laos. If you haven't, it basically says that it's illegal for a foreigner and a Lao citizen to have any kind of physical relationships unless they are married. Yes, you heard that right. If this doesn't scream insecurities, I don't know what does. Some people say you must respect local customs, and I get that, but seriously, this is human nature by two consenting adults. The fine ranges from $500 to now $5,000 if found guilty. Now, there are stories where police have allegedly worked with escorts and hotel owners and busted into hotel rooms to enforce this law, but these stories are unverified. From what I've researched, the police do take this seriously, but in reality, I'm sure that this happens all the time. And after all, there are a lot of happy massage parlours, if you know what I mean, and other venues where expats like to hang out. To be honest, even though I can't prove it, I suspect that the growth of other Southeast Asian countries, at least in a small part, is due to foreigners moving out there, settling down with partners, spending money, and of course adding to the economy. So having a law like this won't do the country any favours, but let me know what you think. Maybe there's something going on or something I don't know about, but it appears just a very strange, strange policy. You will find that Lao women and Thai women are very similar in some respects. After all, they understand each other's languages and the traditions are very alike. But one thing that I noticed, which was so apparent, is that so many Lao women have children. Walking around the provinces, the cities, the malls, the markets, you will see single mums and young couples with kids. And it really did shock me because most of these parents seemed very young themselves. But as a whole, Lao women are very beautiful. They have a great sense of humour. Lao people in general are actually very decent people. One of the traits that I noticed is that Lao women tend to be very caring. But in general, Lao women are much more conservative than people that you may have dated in Thailand or the Philippines. Now there are of course a few wild eggs in that basket, but most ladies like to take their time. The thing to remember is that the Western influence is not as strong in Laos as it is in other Southeast Asian countries. So you will find that many single women have a traditional mindset, but times are slowly changing. Dating apps are used in Laos, but it's very similar to using dating apps in Cambodia. What I mean by this is that dating apps in Laos are in the intensive care unit. They are alive, but only just. You can easily find a date or two in the capital, but outside of this, the best bet is in the malls, social media, or public places. My thoughts about dating a girl from Laos is this. Lao women are actually really attractive. They have an awesome sense of humour, and they are very caring people, but there are a few downsides. The downsides is the dating policy, the lack of English proficiency, and the traditional values that may cause a few hurdles for foreigners who are thinking about dating in Laos. I came across a few videos from creators who are living in Laos, and they said that Laos was not even on their radar in terms of living, but they decided to check it out, they ended up finding a wife, and they love life in Laos. There is a lot more to this country than meets the eye, and when dating, it's important to consider the bigger picture, such as the costs, the legal rights that you have as a foreigner, your lifestyle, and so much more. Let me know if you want to know more, and I will organise a deep dive on living in Laos as a foreigner.